Today's destination is Gibsons, BC. It's located on the Sunshine Coast. Let's go! Welcome to Destination Unknown. This is a travel channel that focuses on destinations and activities and of course a journey to get there and back. Follow us as we travel locally and around the world. The unknown part are the surprises and unplanned adventures that can come our way. So I don't know if you can see this, but the people next to us just had to get on the ferry and they left their beers. They downed it. They downed it. They really tried to plug it down and I'm thinking, would anybody see me if I went and go grab them? How if I grab them? It would be less suspicious. Yeah. Thought. We were at Troller Ale House, not to be confused with trolls, because actually they're down the road, but it's Troller Ale House. And we got here early, and I did record some video of the, the uh, uh, I did record some video on the drive out here, but it took us almost two hours to get out here because of traffic on a Thursday afternoon. And three sailings that were cancelled so luckily we have a reservation now we're sitting here for an hour and a half before we actually go to the lineup we need something to do so we are at Horseshoe Bay and there's a ferry that just pulled in of course you can't see it now well you can see it but you can't pull it in so we have another hour to kill before we get on the, uh, uh, the boat and we are headed to Langdale we're going to Gibson's for the night and Seashelt. We're going to do the Skookumchuk Rapids. Not all the rapids, we're going to watch them. And Skookumchuk Narrows, I guess. And then there's a Sleepy Hollow Rod Run we're going to partake in. A good uh, weekend, and I guess we're gone for six days. Now, nine o'clock, we left Chilliwack at five o'clock. So our reservations were 9.25. So time we're there, it'll be just after 10 o'clock. So a good five hours just to get to the Sunshine Coast. It's been a long day, but hey, we're here. Hope it doesn't sink. Uh, good morning from Gibson's. This is our breakfast this morning. I find that a lot of the hotels are not serving breakfast, so we made our own. We got homemade banana bread and some pineapple and some cherries and some water, so that's it. It'll be enough to get us going, and uh, we are in this beautiful Sunshine Lodge, it's called. And you step outside, and there's the pool. So, unfortunately, we're not going to stay for the pool, but it looks pretty nice. All the uh, suites, all the units are uh, come right in. We actually come in through that little hallway and then we're here. So anyways, off to Gibson's. We just uh, noticed this little gem over here. Isn't that cute? There's the uh, infamous Molly's Reach. Remember a show called The Beachcombers, which was uh, a long time ago. Anyways, this was famous. This is where it was all filmed. This guy's name Relic. Who was in The Beachcombers? It was Relic and it was Bruno Gerussi, but what was his name in the show? I don't know. Oh, goes down here too. Oh, go down here. I've been here a few times, but I never walked down here. I was in town for uh, car shows, things like that. But we didn't actually explore. Uh, uh. This is always a good picture. You know, 
careful. Careful. <laughs> oh, look at that. Picture perfect. Not sure there's a B&B &B or not. The marina, marina house, but boy, it's beautiful. Had we stayed longer in Gibson's, we would have rented an e-bike or scooter. You can get them here at Scotty's Rental, and they're open from mid-May to the end of September. So this looks like a really cute place. It's smoke on the water. Barbecue shack. They're like a small pub, but no alcohol. Their food is delicious and they have a fantastic view of the harbor. Wow. So we're walking up the, the ramp here, and there's this cute little houseboat. <laughs> Look at that. Look at all those uh, plants on there. That is amazing. You certainly get a lot of privacy with all the plants, but you certainly draw attention to yourself. But that is so cute. Hey, did you see the, the plant growing up on top there? Plan? Yeah, what is it? Well, you can get down. Oh. Kind of. We'll see. You can you can rock hop. The warning sign is for something else. It's not for, for here. I'm your warning sign. You're my warning sign? You have such a, I should get the view first before I crack my head open. It's not looking happy with me. That's on my hips. Oh, hey, you know what? There's another point over there. Look, and you get beautiful women just waiting here for you. What? Here, let's get a closer view of the crab apple. For those of you who've never seen a crab apple, look at that. canoe at Davis Bay. It is beautiful out here, right along the water. I probably can't hear well the wind, but, but they can see my lips moving. It is beautiful Malibu parked right beside us. Of course the beautiful scenery. Thank you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> beautiful scenery. And oh, the water's nice too. Look how much these uh, pylons go. Look at that. Holy cow. It's so crazy. I've just never seen it. These things wobble like that before. Look at that. So we finally got here. This is our place we're staying at. See the water. Ready for my date night. Yeah, ready for a date night. So we're going for a cruise tonight. So every year Seashell does the Sleepy Hollow Run. 
and it is a show out in Seashells and they go down to Half Moon Bay and they attract hundreds of cars so uh, usually it's the second weekend in full weekend in August and uh, so here we are this is how many cars are here the starting point for the cruise is Hackett Park in Seashell a police escort leads the pack down to Half Moon Bay Fire Hall via the back roads this is about a 17 kilometer journey 